Islamabad AIFB, and this is my perspective. I am eager to share with you the process of how I created my winning piece from Philosophy Floor Design Contest, which was in honor of the amazing Phil Rilota, AIFB, and the endowment of his scholarship fund. The contest called for Neotropica or uh, Tropical Nouveau, which are floral designs with blended um, tropical and non-tropical flowers. So having Phil as my inspiration for this piece, um, some braiding and weaving and foliage manipulation came to mind. I have these fanchas, thanks to Resinous Brothers Portilla Farms and um, for, for providing me some of the materials that I'm gonna be using, as well as um, Greenpoint Nurseries from Hawaii. They were very generous. They were actually um, sponsors um, for the competition along with Milano and Company and um, Phil Reloda and his um, floral, this floral design school. Okay, so um, here it is. I put my focal flower, actually this is my main flower, um, in the center, you know, trying to uh, be attentive with the stem placement. I added some anthuriums. Because I kind of wanted to frame this bank shots. These. There's the two anthuriums. And then I have green cymbidiums here. I have to trim it off because it looks too heavy. Um, hence, that's the balance of the arrangement. I don't want it to be too heavy. Here you go. I wanted to also emphasize that when we use um, tropical flowers, um, generally their stems are heavier and thicker. So when we do um, stem placement, we wanted to make sure that we avoid um, um, changing the positions, you know, picking it up and reinserting, picking it up or reinserting because it's gonna create holes and, and th therefore your oasis could crumble. Then I added some um, design elements um, that I've learned from Phil that I'm going to show you. I'm sure you've seen it. This is the Nautilus shell. I had to put a, an extension because the, they're, they're short for my design. And in when you create something like this and when you add anything, um, you try and hide the mechanics. So this one, I covered it with the leaves. One of these strands that I wrapped on the barbecue stick. So it's not obvious, right? So I also could add a little bit of bouillon, green bouillon, because it adds um, a little extra on the, your design. Um, just a little bit of um, enhancement to the design. You don't have to wrap the whole thing, just kind of like a little bit. So you don't wanna um, put too much. So um, with these, I'm gonna add 
more focal in here, which I used. Um, I'm gonna be creating a rosette. with using uh, this burgundy tea leaves. So to create this, you kind of have to remove the spine so it becomes more pliable and easier when you uh, when we twist and turn. So just make a slit and remove that part. but keeping the stem because this is going to help us um, when creating the rosette, okay? It's going to be our handle. So with these, kind of twist and turn. Twist and turn. You kind of fold it and you turn it. Fold and turn, kind of creating a rose. Okay. Hold this part of the stem. Let's cut this off. Sometimes it's easier to kind of tape it before you continue so it stays in place. I have pre-cut tape in here because I knew I was gonna use it. So let's move on to the next one. Same thing. Make a slit, cut, cut the portion of the spine it off and do it again kind of fold it twist and turn fold twist and turn and then you kind of connect it with your already existing rosette and so this you can just hold the stem and continue Folding it. Taping it together. And then continue doing that adding to your existing set already. Okay. Then I wanted to cover the oasis. I am using this cut up, I mean this cut blooms from the orchid spray and we can use it at the bottom. Let's use toothpick and tape. So just to make sure, let's put a little bit of um, tea leaves to cover the base. Here's what I did. I covered it and I'm going to insert the orchids sometimes it helps um, to make a slit over the greenery the tea leaves so that it will be easier for this um, orchid to be inserted in place there you go So here, 
I think I needed something forward. And I am going to use some braided tea leaves. I uh, have pre-made two of these. So, woven um, tea leaves, we are giving depth, you know, we're giving dimension to the arrangement, it's not just flat. I'm going to show you how to, how I used um, the cherry tomatoes. What I did in my arrangement, it was billy ball and I put them on a strand of, of wine. I believe this is about um, 22 or 24 gauge. So at the bottom, I kind of do a, a hook. I'm going to put a little bit of enhancement at the bottom, at the tip of the, of this dangling uh, element, okay? So what I did is, just cut a little bit of bouillon, roll it. Oops. And here it is, it's just a little ball of bouillon. So put it in, a, in this piece of wire, but make sure that I put a hook, turn it there, so it doesn't, so it holds the cherry tomatoes. There you go, there's the tip, and this is going to hold the tomatoes from sliding off. When I'm um, going to strand, we're going to use the um, design element or technique as the se sequencing, meaning we choose the, the products, in this case the chair tomatoes. When I'm um, going to strand, we're going to use the um, design element or technique as the se sequencing, meaning we choose the, the products, in this case the chair tomatoes, according to its size. So you choose, you, you get the, you start with the smallest one. So there's like a gradation of, of size. So here it is. It's coming along. There you go. Look at that, so cute. And then you put in the arrangement. I'll put a um, toothpick. There you go. And then we put it under. There you go. But I kind of wanted to add some more texture, so I'm gonna use um, hanging amaranthus. Cover with um, tape. Remember, we're trying to hide the mechanics. So the tape, massage tape, which is the same color as, almost the same color as the hanging amaranthus is gonna be a nice um, cover. It's not gonna be too obvious, okay? Let's try and see. Throw it in the center, I mean on, on the other side. So there's some texture and a little bit of um, colored cheese uh, that the cherry tomato is landing on, laying on, but not clashing because it's almost the same color as the um, the container. There you go. So I kind of wanted to make it more interesting. Is I'm going to add some woven. Uh, lily grass. Okay. So 
So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to shorten this because it's a little too long. Okay, friends, um, we're almost to the finish, finish line. So what I wanted to do is add one more um, design technique on this side to kind of balance those two woven palm leaves over there on the right side. I'm going to put something on this side using the purple tea leaves to kind of bring out the rosette that we created with burgundy tea leaves. Turn it over and um, roll it on one side. And using a, a piece of wire, it will help stay in place. So you kind of pierce it through like so and then it creates this rounded um, effect on this side. So I actually made three different sizes. I wanted to make sure that the size is perfect, okay? I'm going to use the terracing technique, horizontally spaced, kind of like a stair step fashion. We start with the larger one. There you go. And once again, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.